Welcome everyone to Championship Wrestling. The United Wrestling Network Summer Showcase continues. TK Talk Henley, James Kincaid, Dustin Starr here with the call of the action. More qualifying matches for Golden Opportunity, women's action, but let's talk about our main event. BHK again puts that United Heritage title on the line. Yeah, BHK, Kevin Martinson, one of the most fighting heritage champions in all of United Wrestling history on the line once again here this week. BHK, premier athlete here at the United Wrestling Network and all across the globe, and today he defends that title. I can't wait. Against Jacob Austin Young, another veteran of the United Wrestling Network. What a main event. That's title action, but we're gonna kick things off with title implications and another golden opportunity qualifying match. It's time to fight off. I would say polarizing uh, figure in oh. the United Wrestling Network, but I don't think anybody likes this guy. Yeah, no, nothing polarizing about Jordan Cruz, certainly not after this new leaf he has turned over, completely turning his back on the faithful here at the Irvine Improv. But a decorated former champion, to be sure. And introducing his opponent, weighing in at 200 pounds, the Saint of Skid Row. Rob McKnight! Rob McKnight loves a good fight, a little rough around the edges, and a real dark house, a, a dark horse in this potential tournament bid here as he's going to uh, get a huge opportunity to make it into Golden Opportunity. I, I mean, could you imagine if Rob Knight makes it into Golden Opportunity, wins the whole thing? Just, I mean, he's still so new to this game. Well, pump Life the changing. brakes just a I, second, I mean, I'm just James. saying it could he's happen. He's standing across the ring from a former champion, Jordan Cruz. Look at the physical condition this man is in. I, I'm, I'm well aware of Look all that. Look at the that. scowl on his face. He means business today. Here anything, we go. Anything can happen, though. And if that would have happened well, for Rob yeah. Knight, I mean, just completely life-changing for him at this early juncture of his career after everything he's been yeah, through. I, like I agree with you, and the skid, the same as skid row could go right from skid row up to the penthouse. Yeah. I don't know if I'd be uh, slapping Rob McKnight if I was Jordan Cruz, because now he's getting it right back. And Rob McKnight, you know, was under the tutelage for quite some time of former television champion look Levi out. Shapiro, so you know he's got some tricks, and look at this, just thrown out like yesterday's news. Yeah, sending Rob McKnight back out the outside of the ring. That's where we first got acquainted with Rob, was outside the ring. And then Lord Crew. Yes. With the reversal. Was working on as, as part of the uh, production team at the time, got thrown into action. Life comes at you fast. Sure does. And out goes Jordan Cruz. Rob McKnight turning things around. And Dustin. Kind of his body language told me that he thinks that McKnight doesn't belong in in the ring yeah, with him, but McKnight will stand tall after that exchange. Yeah, I'm glad you said that because I got the same feeling. I'm a little bit overconfident, Jordan Cruz, at this point. Rob McKnight came to fight, and he's ramming Jordan Cruz's face right into that turnbuckle. Now, those pads on the turnbuckles are very, very thin, by the way. Underneath there is, is steel. Absolutely. It hurts. Yeah, it sure does. And, and the former. Heritage yeah, champion and television champion, for that matter. Jordan Cruz finding that out the hard way. And, and if, if McKnight can turn this into a brawl, into a fight, it's probably his best chance yeah, to win this. That, that's Who's his style. He's, he, he's looking really Who's good right now. He's got the former champ on the ropes here, on the apron, actually, in point of fact. Cruz reeling. McKnight willing to come out after him. This is dangerous. Yeah, dangerous territory indeed. Cruz able to slip back in the ring. Oh, McKnight. McKnight colliding with that turnbuckle there. 
That hit, looked super nasty. Hit hard and heavy, got overzealous there, and it's ironic that Jordan Bruce finds himself potentially in the golden opportunity tournament because it seems like ancient history now as he powers down McKnight and goes for the cover. When Cruz originally won title gold, it was Beef Candy giving him that golden ticket and he eventually won the Heritage title from Richie Slade. Yeah, it would be poetic if, if he were to sort of make good on yet another golden ticket. But I tell you what, that collision, McKnight with the turnbuckle, that could be a big pendulum swing. He doesn't look the same right now. That yeah. did some big time damage and, and Cruz knows it. Yeah, that miscue has given Jordan Cruz the advantage that he needs, and you can see it's like a shark smell. Seeing the blood in the water. Into the cover, looking the to put him away. Has picked up. It has, and you can see that McKnight is keeping that arm close to his body. And I think McKnight's best chance was a puncher's chance, but he's a one-armed man right now. Still trying to use what he's got left, but yeah, Cruz doubling over McKnight. Clubbing blows. Shot, did you hear that? McKnight just writhing in pain on his knees. Cruz could be sensing here. Big time power from the former Marine. What a suplex. And not, not done. Thought he might go for a cover there. Body vice here. Trying to do more damage to McKnight after the turnbuckle collision. Yeah, we're not exactly oh, look, sure. Just a sort of Pat Bateman-esque pose here from Cruz and doing more damage to McKnight. I was gonna say, we're not sure exactly what is hurting on McKnight. Could be the ribs, could be the arm, shoulder, whatever it is, Jordan Cruz is going after it. Yeah, well, Cruz doesn't want to eat too much of this ground and pound out of the guard here by McKnight. He's digging way down deep with these big uh, right cannon jobs. Uh-oh, maybe a little uh, catapult. catapult action. Oh. Right to the buckle, he might have hit the steel. Reeling again is Cruz, but coming up empty. Nobody at the bottom of the well for McKnight, and he has to go to the outside. More damage done. Mc, McKnight likes that springboard. You get, utilize it there, looking for a crossbody, I believe, but normally you just uses that for that skid row stomp. Came up dry. The old cliche, high risk, high reward. That springboard's off the top rope, you name it. If you hit him, you can pick up a victory, but if you miss, Jordan Cruz is trying to talk about his ring. Well, he just got brought into his house the hard way by McKnight. Oh, big shot by McKnight. Picking up the pace here. Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute. What's he doing here? Is he working? Good, well, a part of just, uh, talk about the Summer Showcase, a, a member of the extended United Wrestling Network family. and. Quite honestly, a former tag team champion on this program, Dylan Boston. Well, well, we haven't seen him the Cinderella here in a story. No. Oh, but and now he's got the attention of Rob McKnight. Mistake from McKnight. Costly. Took his eye off the ball. No, no the not, Tried to steal one there, Dustin. Yeah, Rob McKnight was lucky to kick out. Jordan Cruz lucky he didn't get caught. Now they're trading shots right in the center of the ring. Yeah, toe to toe. McKnight still, I don't want a knee You from mentioned Cruz. a puncher's chance. Well, yeah, but it, it, it's it's Cruz is the one that's, that's striking most effectively right now. And we've seen how powerful, oh, he just oh. throws him to the outside. Clipped the apron on his way down. Mercy, McKnight's got to be hurt bad. Vicious stuff there by former Heritage and television champion, and now sense of urgency, gonna get McKnight back in the ring where perhaps he can put him away. Who's gonna join the likes of EJ Sparks, Sledge, and Jude is in the tournament. There it is. Titan Driver into the cover, advances. Here is your winner, and <laughs> wow, wow, so good. Oh my God, you're so amazing at professional wrestling. Oh my God, you're almost as good as me. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Your winner, moving on to Golden Opportunity, Jordan Cruz. <laughs> wow, he's so talented. He's so good. Oh, my God. What is, what is Boston playing out here, guys? playing on the sarcasm. I'm going to say, I picked up a lot of sarcasm in there. But either way, Jordan, Jordan Cruz, the winner is qualified for golden opportunity after one heck of a fight in the near Cinderella story for McKnight, but give the assist to Dylan Boston. Cruz gets the victory. He will join the likes of EJ Sparks Sledge and Jude is. And he will have his golden opportunity. More to come on the all new Championship Wrestling. This is Dylan Bostick. One! 
Pope's answer is. I've been asking it. Hey, oh, hey, Pope, you don't need to know nothing else, Daddy. The reason Pope. Hey, now. Oh, oh. And when that happens, I'm going to have one question for you, Uncle Dave, one question for the Pope, and one question for all these fans, and that's who sucks now? Well, hold on, something's oh. going on behind the ref's back. No! Uh, into the exposed steel. Snake eyes into the exposed steel. Oh, you gotta oh, be my. kidding me. Oh my gosh. Oh, Billy no. Boston just beat the Pope. Well, they, he cheated. He exposed the turnbuckle. <laughs> See, I told you, Sean. I made history. I beat the Pope. <laughs> that was awesome. I told all of you that I would beat the Pope. And I did. I told you all I was gonna go on a massive winning streak, and I did. Now I've told you, right now, today, tonight, I'm gonna get face to face with the Pope. Now I'm sick and tired of you coming out here acting like you're somebody. Do you know who I am? Oh, he just Do you know who I am? Pope. I'm Dylan Bostic. Do you understand me? And I have one question, and that's who sucks now? I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it, except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing, all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. In a world where people drive dirty every day, there's one duck with sunglasses who has a dream to be fast, clean, and loved everywhere. Quackles is giving you the chance to be a champion just like him. He's giving away a one-of-a-kind Quick Quack Championship belt autographed by some of your favorite United Wrestling Network stars. To enter, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit DontDriveDirty.com slash belt. Let's get down to business. As you know, the 2023 Golden Opportunity Tournament is on the horizon. And in this tournament, there are nine competitors, six of which will qualify via competition, and three of which will be wild card entrants. And if you go back to last year's tournament, it was historic. This tournament had the likes of Shane Haste, of Bateman, of Willie Mack. Yeah. Of the Bullet Club's Chris Bay. Yeah. And of course, the competitor who went on to win the tournament and become the United World Champion, Danny Limelight. Yeah. So I'm here because I've just been informed by the committee that we have our first official wildcard entrant for this year's tournament. And although I will admit, I am rarely a fan of his antics, he is one of the greatest heritage champions we have ever had in the United Wrestling Network. 
So without further ado, allow me to welcome the first wild card entrant to the 2023. The outlandish one, wow, Zicky Dice, and, and you know, LaFosto mentioned it, a former Heritage Champion, a former television champion, and gave the current world champion, Danny Limelight, a real run for his money. Yeah, he did, and I mean, his golden opportunity, Zicky Dice, certainly an opportunist, so I know he'll fit right in. Wow, the first wild card entrant, outlandish Zicky Dice. I'm a little surprised. Ziggy Dice traveled all across the United States. He was the first ever Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion as well, and also he's kind of a, a you know, fashion guru too, if you can't tell. No, no account is he taste. wearing? As I was about to say, the first wild card entrant into this year's tournament, the outlandish Ziggy Dice. <laughs> Thank you for the warm welcome, but I didn't need it because I already know that I'm over as hell. A lot of people ask Zicky, what's in your fanny pack? You want to know what's inside this fanny pack? Do you want to know what's inside this fanny pack? <laughs> well, tough <laughs> Go ahead and edit that one out, Marquez. You're probably wondering, oh, Zicky, they flew you first class all the way to championship wrestling to not wrestle? No, this is my time now. I paid for this time. So you're gonna listen to every single word that I have to say, and there's nobody here that can shut me up. Shut up. Everyone shut your mouth for a damn moment. Shut up. Shut up. Come on. You act like booing me really hurts my feelings, when in reality, it just turns me on. Ugh. What did he say? I, I don't want to get into what turns him on. You listen, I hope and pray that the United Wrestling Network stops accepting food stamps as payment for all of you to come in here and sit down. Oh, come on. That's outlandish. That is, that is out of bounds. Oh, you feel that? Do you feel that? That's what I call outlandish. And let me tell you why I'm feeling outlandish right here, right now. I am sick and tired of being underutilized. I am sick and tired of making every single one of you laugh. I am sick and tired of my peers passing me up. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Zicky Dice action figures. Zicky Dice video games. Ziggy Dice movies! <laughs> Are you surprised that I am the wild card entrant? No, 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 no. This is my time now! Come golden opportunity! I don't give a damn who the hell it is. I don't care if it's EJ Sparks. I don't care if it's Jordan Cruz. I don't care if it's Willie Mack, hell, I scared him the hell out of here. I don't care if it's Gan Grail. I don't care if it's any single one of you. There is nobody at the United Wrestling Network who's gonna take this opportunity from me. You are looking at the future face of this company. It's time you all see another side of the dice. So LaQuasto, come here. I want you to do us all a favor and right here for the whole world to see, I want you to wish me luck in this tournament. Oh. Zicky, if, if it'll get you to leave, then best of luck in the golden opportunity tournament. Sounded sincere. Thank you, Johnny. But just so you know, I'm Zicky freaking Dice and I don't need luck. Zicky Dice says that. You oh, come on! Whoa! Johnny LaCosto, my goodness. 
uh, just disgusting from Zicky Dice. And the future face of this company. Well, if that's the case, I suggest like we look that. into some Botox. Wild card, I guess. Outlandish card, more like it. A new side of the dice. If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896. 800-453-5896. In a world where people drive dirty every day, there's one duck with sunglasses who has a dream to be fast, clean, and loved everywhere. Quackles is giving you the chance to be a champion just like him. He's giving away a one-of-a-kind Quick Quack Championship belt autographed by some of your favorite United Wrestling Network stars. To enter, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit DontDriveDirty.com slash belt. Wrestling, TK Todd Kennelly, James Kincaid, Dustin Five Star, and the women's division is really heating up, and the stakes are getting very high. Stakes have never been higher in the United Wrestling Network. It has already been, you know, this chaotic maelstrom, but now with the title on the horizon, every win, every loss looms that much larger. Every woman in the United Wrestling Network is aiming for the brand new United Women's World Title. And introducing her opponent from Goodyear, Arizona. She is the Belle of the Brawl, Bryn Thorne. The Belle of the Brawl, Bryn Thorne, never met a fight she didn't like and proved that in recent action, was all too willing to mix it up and get right in the face of UFC fighter Ashley Evan Smith. Not too many people taking a number to do that, gentlemen. Absolutely, she is not gonna back down and she proved that. And hey, I don't know about you, but I'd like to see him mix it up. And Bryn Thorne came so close to defeating Zeta Zhang in action. And of course, we now know by way of her victory in our main event just last week that Zeta Zane will face Savannah Stone at Golden Opportunity. The winner of that match will be the number one seed. And you know how important that is in the playoffs, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. Number one seed, you get a bye in that tournament that will determine the first ever United Women's World Champion. So like I said, every win, every loss matters even more here. So big time pecking order matchup between Thorne and Milo. But even as Milo goes for the quick cover here, even in losing that match, Dustin, though, uh, for much, much of the match, Bryn Thorne, the bell of the brawl, really brought the fight to Zeta Zane. And of course, Zeta now in that catbird seat in the tournament. That just goes to show you how tough the competition is and the parody. Oh, and the competition is heating up, too. You know, we have the Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion over in Memphis. And you know the entire women's division out in Memphis is watching this. Seeing what the competition looks like here in the United Wrestling Network. And I can't wait to crown the first ever women's world title and world champion. Yeah, and that's really, you know, what this, uh, this summer showcase is all about, that we're gonna see talent from the entirety of the United Wrestling Network. But we got a good one here as, you know, both Bryn Thorne and, and Milo could certainly factor into the tournament. And it's times like these that you really want to curry favor with the committee. You want to curry favor with the committee. You want to build Big Mo, that momentum going into this with the United Women's World title looming on the horizon. And, you know, both these women just a lot of heart, a lot of moxie in there, and they're showing it right now. 
Nice arm drag there by Mac Daddy Milo, who has really erupted on the scene since the dawning of the all new championship wrestling right here in this building. Has had big victories. And Milo looking to pick up the pace here, charges in. Swing and a miss there, Dustin. Cover the other way. Close call. Just a one count. Now, Milo is a fan favorite. Anybody that's been in the live chat at youtube.com slash at Memphis Wrestling is a fan of a Milo. Cover Here's a cover. And Milo has mixed it up with the likes in the past of Rekha Tahaka, Marina Shafir, who's got a, a, a huge background in MMA as well as the world of pro wrestling. And uh, as Milo charges in, Brim Thorne was wise to it. And Brim Thorne is such nice a block. lethal striker. Yeah, and she's showing it right now. Milo trapped in the corner, eating those shots, going high, low, and mid to Milo. All Thorne right now, starting to empty the chamber. She's got that arm trapped, and down to the floor went Brim Thorne, and snap went the arm of Milo. And Dustin, the ring is turning into one big dissection pan with Bryn Thorne in there. She will pick her opponent apart. Oh yeah, she's not she's not taking it easy on anybody. She got in the face of a UFC fighter for crying out loud. She is tough. And she's going for the cover here for, for a quick victory. I, I think Brent Thorne has, has found her roadmap to victory. It is that right arm of Milo that she is starting to really pick apart. And Brent Thorne debuted back in the you know the age of 18 and has gotten meaner, tougher, more physical ever since, and really has the making of a potential champion, as does Milo. Milo showing her guts, but has been on the defensive for much of the uh, last few minutes of action here, Dustin, what do you, in your estimation, you're an in-ring competitor, what does Milo have to do to better her odds to win this match? Well, first of all, she's got to get Bren off of her. They've got to get off her back. She's first. definitely got to get off of her back. She's got to protect that arm and somehow create some sort of space because Bryn Thorne has been all over My Milo, it seems like, the entire match. And here's a big standing suplex. Hits flush. This could be it, guys. A lot of power, and now Bryn Thorne into the cover. Deep hook of the leg, cannot put away Milo. Milo's got so much heart, tenacity, and fight, and starts to dish it out in her own right here. But I, I just Bryn Thorne has been one step ahead here, James. Yeah, Milo trying to show that determination, and she does right there. What a oh, cover! Oh, oh, oh. Out of nothing, pulling a rabbit out of a hat is Milo. Got to make that cover. You were about to say out of nowhere, and I would agree. And there's the cover close. Oh. Oh, great Ooh. action. And Dustin, you know, Memphis wrestling with someone of a championship center when it comes to the women's title. We've had that hotly contested uh, Memphis women's title, but how exciting to finally have, in a 15-year history, finally have a United Wrestling Network World Women's Champion coming up. Cannot wait for that. Look at this. High risk could be high reward. Oh, That's exactly coster. why they call it high risk. Caught on the top. Oh! You mentioned the Memphis Wrestling Women's Champion. That's the goddess of the night, Knicks. And you know she's watching this match. She wants an opportunity at the title. And look at this, a variation of the rings of Saturn, Todd. It sure is. And, and you might have to get a verbal oh submission my here because goodness. Oh. She could, and Milo taps. Milo what? taps, Ellen. A little oh, extra move. Brin! A lot Lord. extra from the bell of the brawl, just snarling after getting the submission victory. The aggression from Bryn Thorne, she is ready. Bryn Thorne, the bell of the brawl is primed and ready. And the other competitors in the women's division better take notice because she might carve through those brackets like a hot knife through butter. And coming up, we're gonna meet the imposing challenger upcoming for the United World Television title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the United Wrestling Network for the first time, Kevin Blackwood. Thanks, Megan. I just want to say that it's been it's been pretty rough times out there for me right now. Um, all I want to do is work. Life's hard, but all I want to do is work, and that's what I'm here for. And I just want to thank Johnny Laquasto and United Wrestling Network there for having is. me here. To there it is. For the first time since this match was announced, Kevin Blackwood finally shows some gratitude but you're thanking the wrong people. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the freaking twilight zone here with you sometimes, man. Like I wasn't the person that requested this. I wanted this for you. You think I don't know what's going on with you, man? I wanted to offer you an opportunity. But ever since the match announcement dropped, I've been getting called, I've been getting texts, and everyone's congratulating me forgetting to wrestle you. 
Some are even concerned that I might lose my title. I'm not one of those people. No, 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 because you're in my element now. This isn't your golf clap fight forever bingo hall BS wrestling that you're used to. No, no, you see that? You're in front of a television camera and you're gonna be across the ring from the television champion. This is my ring. And if you roll your eyes at the opportunity that I've given you one more time, I'm gonna gouge them out. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call 800-284-5872. Don't worry, it's fake. That's a good Class. Oh, I'll do it. I swear on my mother's grave. Fake threat. Fake dead guy. Fakes like those don't scare me. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. Scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, big up to the ring by Kai Cool at a combined weight of 371 pounds. Miggy Rose, Michael Hopkins, 24K. 24K gets set for tag team action. And uh, gentlemen, do you think Guy Cool uh, choreographed those fancy dance moves? He, he knows how to coordinate. He knows how to sort of choreograph, like you said, and he also knows how to bring tag team gold. And I think. You see the reason behind all that gold that they're wearing right yeah, now. And he also has some style, guys. Look at these, think of this trio. Looking good. And introducing their opponents from Shady Pines at a combined weight of 401 pounds, Brendan Devine and Honest John, the Institution. Elliot. The mood always changes when the institution is in the house. And, and Dustin, this is your first opportunity to see it and witness it, experience it in person. Well, it's a little freaky if you ask me. Jack Banning's always been a weird one. These guys hang out with him, so that makes them weird as well. The followers of Jack Banning. I mean, look at this. It's maybe. almost like a cult-like following, if you yeah, ask they me. They know maybe about it. It is absolutely a cult following. Brendan Devine, a, a tenured tag team specialist of sorts. And Honest has really been a loose cannon that, that has been both help and hindrance to the institution. Yeah, like you said, he's hard, hard to control and sometimes to their detriment, but he's as unpredictable as they come. The institution, maybe the most sinister tag team in the United Wrestling Network and on display right now, taking on maybe the hottest tag team in United in 24K. No question about it. You don't want to turn your back on Divine or any member of the institution for that matter. And Divine is, oh my God, Woo! just such an effective striker. Of course, he's got that left for dead elbow, that forearm cannon job. Look at Michael Hopkins go. And you talked about maybe the hottest tag team going outside of the world champions, and they almost became world champions in recent history. Gave TMZ a real run for their money. Look at this double team action here, guys. Just gelling together every time out. They get better and better together, and now maybe the X Factor, Guy Cool in their corner. 
I was going to say, you were talking unpredictable a little bit earlier. Is anybody more unpredictable than Guy Cool? I don't know if there's anybody more high energy <laughs> I mean, than Guy Cool, that's for sure. This guy's probably circled the ring five times already. 24K is dripping in gold, and there's only one thing missing, and you mentioned it, Todd. Tag team gold. And they came so close, and especially, and here's the cover by Hopkins. Incredible tandem offense. The double team offense has been on the side of 24K. And these two, Hopkins and Rose, wear more gold than gold member in Foxy Cleopatra. And they almost added those tag team titles. It was a close call. And I think their stock is really on the rise. And they want to they keep that going here, but Divine turning things around. Now in comes Honest. Wrong the neighborhood. wild card of the institution. Wrong neighborhood indeed. You don't want to be anywhere near those padded cells. Hopkins trying to fight his way away from the institution. A little Matador action there. And the main attraction wrestler matching off here with Honest John, who does have deceptive strength. Agility, he's got all the tools to Zonis. He's an incredible athlete, but he's uh, he's a fry short of a happy meal, that's for sure. Looked like there was a blind tag there. I don't know if the ref saw it, but here comes Grin Divine with a big boot, and down goes Hopkins. Looking to take advantage, and look at that. Honest taking care of Rose on the outside, and that was a close call. Institution almost got the win. And gentlemen, you know that with championships come power, comes influence. That's what the institution's all about. Banning the reigning United World Television champion. He would love his... Uh, his fellow uh, stable mates to win the tag team titles down the line. A win here would go a long way. Yeah, his, his minions. Yes, okay. His, his, his cult minions. But thus far, Banning has hoarded all the success for himself. So I'm not also sure how much he really cares about that cover from Honest. Nearly three. Very good tag team continuity from the institution, regardless of what you say about him. These guys work very well together as a team. Yeah, well, they brainwashed together, so you think that they share somewhat of a philosophy of a mantra that has paved the way to a lot of success here, and right now, 24K in a bad way. Thomas John just mocking. And when you talk about titles too, guys, you gotta think Savannah Stone might factor into that women's world title tournament. And look at this guy, he's just, he's like a jackal. I mean, he will pick apart your carcass, take every opportunity, and Divine back in there, and Divine's a real powerhouse too, guys. Jackal is right about exactly what I, what I picture Guy Cool, right? If you're watching Lion King or something like that, he's one of the jackals out there. Yeah, Hy Hyena like is honest, and, and Guy Cool with just that energy on the outside. But right now, the frequent tags coming from the institution, Hopkins isolated, being picked apart by the wild dogs of the institution. The but Hopkins creating the distance, able to get some separation. This could be his moment. Wow, he's got to get that lives. tag. Can he do it? Feeling the effects, that lower back. Almost one half of that gold forever. They like it from an elevated Doomsday position, Doomsday device position, but that kind of rough rider there by Hopkins. And look at Rose go. This guy is a fire plug, but man, he packs a lot of power in that frame. Yeah, looking to turn things around for 24K. He's doing just that. Taking on both members of the institution by himself. Fire right now. Looking to follow up. Springboard for the second row and just clobbered him right in the head. Brendan Veteran. Devine scooted out of the ring. Good thing he did. He could have gotten pinned. Honest John here now. Was it luck? Was it veteran wherewithal? Who knows? Butterfly suplex with the bridge. How beautiful was that? Come on! Almost put him away. Nearly had him. Closing in on the three count, but feeling it right now. Tag team division is absolutely loaded here at the United Wrestling Network, and these are two of the top contenders here. And they, I'll tell you, the institution had plenty of time to read in Shady Pines. That this was a textbook. Look good. Textbook butterfly suplex. Yeah, they were looking for that oh. goal forever. Meeting of the minds and a big knee up the middle by Honest through the table into the neck breaker. Honest John might have a victory here. Cover. Look at him put him away. Close call. Great action in the tag team division. Deep leg hook. Honest thought he had him. Hopkins was trying to roll out to gather his bearings. Honest put a stop to that. Nicely done. And now once again, isolate and destroy by the institution. Back in play here. The institution is doing a great job of cutting off the ring here, guys. They, they really are. And Hopkins, though, fighting from underneath. And Guy Cole's got a big match in his own right coming up. Oh, line tag. Line tag, yes. yes. Didn't see it. Did Divine just clocked Hopkins. That was Hopkins, not the legal man. Oh, no. And the referee, Chris Massey, wise to it. And a second. Pull up the other way here by Rose. They got him. Got him. 
We've got winners. job bouncing back from that tag team title match loss by scoring the win over the, one of the most dominant groups in all of championship wrestling, the institution. Speaking of titles, Heritage title main event still to come. We'll be back. Kevin. Ke He's about to have a match. With all right, I know you're about to go out there and compete, mm, but mm, right, right now, right now. I, I know, you saw mm -hmm, what Bateman mm -hmm. had to say last week. He won, so Bateman will have an opportunity at Golden Opportunity mm -hmm. at the championship. I wanted to let you know as the current champion. Okay? All right, man, just make it happen. Just yeah. make it happen. Okay, but don't look past Jacob Austin Young. He's nope. incredible. He has a shot right now, but as the current champion, you have to know that it's going to be Bateman challenging whoever wins tonight. Oh, yeah. Don't you worry about that. You just give me Bateman. You're doing good. You're doing okay. good. Great job. All right. Just give me that uh, Bateman. Well, mm -hmm. Good luck, champ. You had to do that right now? If you're afraid to offend, you can't be honest. That's Thomas Paine, a leader in the American Revolution. CarShield, America's most trusted auto protection company, spells out what's protected in coverage plans for your vehicle. If your vehicle is out of warranty, all you have to do is call before your car breaks down. CarShield preserves your right to save on repairs or replacements for major parts and systems, while protecting your freedom to choose your mechanic or dealer for one affordable pay-as-you-go rate a rate that will never go up. The future of this country rests on the people. The future of your car should rest with CarShield administrators. Call CarShield before it's too late. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-453-5896. 800-453-5896. Contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Heritage Championship! Main event time here on Championship Wrestling, and here you see the challenger, Jacob Austin Young. He's had many a battle in the United Wrestling Network, and we saw him on this program back as part of the huge red carpet rumble festivities took on the Wild Rhino, Clark Connors, in the first match of the Red Carpet Rumble, what a match it was. Yeah, fantastic showing by Jacob Austin Young, and what a fantastic opportunity for him now as we are on the path to golden opportunity. From the Red Carpet Rumble to the main event. The reigning defending Heritage Champion has been a fixture on this program since day one. Tag team title holder, finally won that Heritage title, and he has been the epitome of fighting champion. Yeah, that title that had eluded him for so long, he's certainly made the most of it with his title defenses. I mean, who is gonna be able to pry that away from him? I don't know if they made a man stern enough to do that, but Kevin Martinson, resilience personified, also, you know, unorthodox personified in a way as well. But you gotta wonder, is Bateman renting some space in the head of the champion? I mean, with all the, the antics of Bateman, I mean, you would have to be sure that those mind games have paid dividends. Can't overlook Jacob Austin Young, though. That's how, that's how that title slips away. Introducing first, the challenger from Phoenix, Arizona, weighing in at 180 pounds, dangerous J-A-Y, Jacob Austin Young! Huge opportunity here for Jacob Austin Young. And introducing his opponent from the Electric City, weighing in at 210 pounds, he is the United Heritage Champion, BHK Kevin Martinson! Stage is set, that's what it's all about. United Heritage title on the line. BHK has gone through a litany of challengers as of late. Most recently, the likes of main event Evan Daniels, R3 Cassis, 
And now more tough opposition here in Jacob Austin Young. And gentlemen, JAY is well-traveled as well, has competed for New Japan Pro Wrestling, was a fixture in championship wrestling from Arizona. He's, he's battled in AEW. He is a dangerous threat to Martinson and his title reign. Yeah, but so is Kevin Martinson. You used the word unorthodox, I believe, James. Yes. Unique, unorthodox, inside the ring, outside the ring. Since day one, this guy's been a little bit weird. But he's the champ, he's a tough guy. This is not their first contest either, if you date back all the way to 2015, where they matched up here at Championship Wrestling. And since then, of course, Jacob Austin Young has a little more size, he's got a lot more experience, and he has a shot at winning this championship here today. You can't overlook dangerous J-A-Y. Martinson looks pretty focused right now. And, and interesting to see Martinson, who can absolutely do it all, by the way. Yes. He can high fly, he's extremely powerful. He's got submission grappling as well. But we've seen Martinson get off to a quick start so many times and just throwing caution to the wind, but deciding to go fundamental here. Interesting maneuver against J.A.Y. Yeah, changing things up. Maybe Jacob Austin Young wouldn't expect that. Certainly looks to be the case right now. Still miles to go before this one is put to bed for sure. J.A.Y. maybe, I think, got Martinson by the beard for a moment, perhaps. Didn't have the best angle on it. Nice takedown there take. by dangerous J.A.Y. as he's calling himself now, and, and he is more dangerous than ever. Very as, focused. As we say in the South, we've got a good old-fashioned wrestling match here right now. They're on the ground, side headlock. Roll over into the cover. Kind of keep your head on a swivel in there. And so, so many times with, with Martinson, you're talking about how he starts the match. Really, it's it's to me, it's how he's able to sustain so much damage as matches go and just weather those storms. Martinson may be better than anyone at that. Well, and that was certainly the case when Martinson won the title. You'll recall yes. it was it was Zicky Dice, who of course is now a wild card in the Golden Opportunity Tournament, got the jump on Martinson, beat him down for you know a good amount of that matchup. And Martinson just never said die, just kept fighting, and eventually made history. Absolutely, and he's been off to the races for this title reign ever since. Nearly caught Jacob Austin Young there. Two count, that's a near fall. You mentioned Sicky Dice. I think he's lost his mind, by the way. Big shoulder tackle. Put his hands on committee member Johnny LaQuasto and BHK. There you see that power, that ex explosion there with that shoulder tackle. And now and and the little... unorthodox <laughs> uniqueness that we talked about earlier. Oh, but cost him. Kick. Well, a little let's go there. Well, it worked for the Super Mario Brothers in the box office. It didn't work out so well for the Heritage Champion there. Yeah, not so much. Champion doubled over right now as Jacob Austin Young starts to implement his game plan. He's rocking the champ with some shots. This one's been physical, fundamental thus far. This matchup, Heritage title on the line, certainly has that power cake feel. And look out, you're never safe from the champion. But rolling back in is Jacob Austin Young here. Look oh. out, ooh, caught him. Man. Fools rush in, title could be slipping away. He's Neck breaker here. here, perhaps. I think the champ was, was out oh. that shot. This isn't gonna help. Hung out to dry and onto the outside goes the champion. If I'm Jacob Austin Young, I get him in the ring in a hurry and try and get a pinfall. But no, he's he's sizing him up. Going to keep the pressure right in front of our broadcast. Incoming! Position. He caught him. Spilling out to the outside. Challenger looking good. We got to take a break. Jacob Austin Young, can he make history in Irvine? We'll be back. I love to drive. It's my me time, my getaway, my escape. Nothing can ruin it except for a car breakdown. That's why I called CarShield. CarShield administrators help get those repairs paid. I trust CarShield with my baby, and you should too. CarShield has plans that include protection on major parts and systems like the engine, transmission, entertainment system, air conditioning, electronics, and more. CarShield administrators go the extra mile by including rental car options. You also get emergency services for flat or damaged tires, lockouts, dead batteries, and courtesy towing all at no additional cost. Darlings, saving on expensive car repairs is just a phone call away. For me, it's a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in costs for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantees. Call 800-284-5872. 
In a world where people drive dirty every day, there's one duck with sunglasses who has a dream to be fast, clean, and loved everywhere. Quackles is giving you the chance to be a champion just like him. He's giving away a one-of-a-kind Quick Quack Championship belt autographed by some of your favorite United Wrestling Network stars. To enter, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit DontDriveDirty.com slash belt. Welcome back, everyone. It's a baseball slide short drop kick there by the challenger who got the better of the champion on the outside ever since that suicide diet. A real uh, tide turner in this main event matchup. Yeah, guys. it's been all Jacob Austin Young since then trying to finish off Martin. Only able to get two thus far, but look at this. More to come. Tornado DDT. No, Martin able to That's fend him off at the last move. moment. That's a patented move of Jacob Austin Young. If he hits oh. that, he might be the new champ. And you mentioned on the floor during the break, he was in control the whole time. But what a counter. I'll tell you, Jacob Austin Young did his homework because oh. Martin had looked for the brain buster and, and Jacob Austin Young countered it, but he can't counter these strikes. We're going counter for counter for a moment. And again, Jacob Austin Young, oh, I thought it gets round and round they go. He's got that ankle lock ankle now. Lock. Gonna try and force a submission here from Jacob. He might be forced to tap out, Lim, to fight another day. BHK has it in tight. Yes, he does. Seated position there, trying to keep Jacob Austin Young from the ropes, but not able to do it. He had the leg grapevine and everything. Very, very good work for Jacob Austin Young to reach that rope. Forces the break, oh! but now continues to apply the pressure. Does the champion, who has apparently picked a body part. Now, Dustin, you're known as five star, but I'll tell you, the champion oh, yeah. is a five tool player. I think he's Galaxy Star, right? Didn't he come from the outer space or some kind of crazy something like that? He spent some time as a space cop, I believe. Yeah, I, uh, uh, I know some scientists that sort of refuted whether or not he'd actually been to space, but that, that remains neither here nor there. We got a great championship match going here. Gutbuster, he's focusing Gut on Buster. that arm there now. Right, now this is where you could get the, the submission, but nice roll through by Jacob Austin Young. Oh, yeah, he's really sticking with it. But might be out of the frying pan into the fire here for Jacob Austin Young. As, in the center uh, of the ring, though. Boy, look at this. Using using the foot to, to apply added leverage and pressure to that submission attempt and having desperation strikes here by the challenger. Is it going to be enough to break the hold? It is. So gutsy stuff there by Jacob Austin Young. You see Jacob's really favoring that arm as well. Flailing for his title hopes there was Jacob Austin Young. Yeah, keep an eye on that arm. Martinson certainly is. No question about it. This thing has been physical, very competitive. Seesaw action back and forth. No. Jacob Austin Young, can he stay in the driver's seat? Looking good right now. Nice combo. Yeah, what a flurry. Educated feet from Jacob Austin Young. And you can see BHK did not want to let go of that arm. Yeah, usually BHK, an avid gamer, is all about the, uh, the combo bonus, but uh, uh, just a lethal array of strikes there by the challenger. A little face wash here. Disrespectful. Out here in the corner, and again, Jacob Austin Young has battled in New Japan for wrestling, and you're seeing some of that strong style here on display. Drag him to the center of the ring and pin him right now after a kick well, to the face like yeah, that. Key mistake, he's getting distracted here by the crowd here at the Improv. With so much on the line, you can't let that creep in. When you're in the ring, though, and you hear the fans, something something else happens to you and you get sucked in waste a little bit of time and you can see here you can either to stay on the offensive but his arm arm yeah. still hurting you can either fly, thrive on it treat it like a road game and, and thrive on shutting him up but jacob austin young made a big time mistake he might he, 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 favoring the arm again that cost him there big get, time oh no just flying right into the oh, arm, into the arm bar. Bar. wow what a transition there i don't know that i've ever seen the champion so hell-bent on getting the submission jacob austin young needs to get out of this hold and fast we could end up with a broken arm we know that Martinson can do it all, but this has been a more submission and ground game minded BHK than I think we've ever seen. I think it may be catching Jacob Austin Young off guard. Wow, wow, he runs that, into them. That not meant to bend that way. Jacob Austin Young's got to either tap or reach out and get to that rope, but he's close. BHK's fighting to keep him from oh, grabbing God. it. Just grotesque stuff here, and the arm is pinned and seized. 
And we'll see Jacob Austin Young got to the salvation of the ropes once. Can he make it twice? No, decides to counter the other way. What a counter! Wow, great stuff. Who has sacrificed his body to potentially become the new Heritage Champion. DHK continuing the assault on that arm. You're talking about, you know, we haven't really seen this from Martinson. Usually if he goes for submission, it's that sharpshooter. All the focus on that arm from BHK to Jacob Austin Young. I will say one thing, Dustin. The champion knows how to utilize his entire body as a weapon. It looks like it. See what's next here. Big German suplex. Nice counter. I love how Jacob Austin Young used the momentum to aid him there. He had Martinson springing off those ropes, popped the hips, got him up and over, but unable to capitalize with a cover. What, to go back to what you said, Martinson using his body as a weapon, Jacob Austin Young able to get out of the way, turn it into offense of his own with a big suplex. And using it against him and using the one good arm he has left, coming in with as much momentum as he can muster on those knife edge chops. And we talked about Martinson being a fighting champion. At some oh. point, look out here, looking for that Tornado DDT again. At what time do all those successful title defenses catch up and you just got too much mileage? Yeah, it, I was gonna say, it's a lot of mileage in this title reign of Martinson. No off season in professional wrestling. No off season at the United Wrestling Network. Those injuries and those matches can absolutely build up and cost you. Challenger pulling out all the stumps, you might say, going downstairs with the foot stops. Oh. Upstairs. What a body kick there by the champ. Precision kick, I think it caught him again on that arm. More damage done, oh, what a nasty drop. Martinson face first into that second turnbuckle, could be the opening, will he finally go. hit the tornado DDT now? No, Martinson again putting the brakes on. Just too much power and nasty that stuff there. Just so much velocity. Martinson deadlifts him all the way up. Brain Buster. Mercy. Spikes him. Does the champion. Martinson retains. Wow. What a win. Here is your winner and still United Heritage oh. Champion, Kevin Martinson. Martinson, a gutsy title defense. Let's take a look back at the action. Dustin throughout the matchup. Jacob Austin Young brought in a game plan. Great striking was there. But in the end, Martinson hit that brain bust. It's hard to beat anybody with one arm, especially that man, the champ, BHK. Big victory for Kevin Martin. Another big notch in his belt. What a title reign. What a fighting champion Kevin Martinson has been putting the heritage in heritage champion. Huge victory there by BHK. You want to talk about champions. Next week's main event will feature the United World Tag Team Champions and the World Champion in Danny Limelight. We'll see you next week. Bateman, see you at Golden Opportunity. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, guys. I don't think we're done yet. Yeah, don't turn around. You won't like the view, champ. Champion. An eventual challenger, you gotta believe. Face to face, nose to nose, and I can't wait to see him go toe to toe. A glimpse into the future.